This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, this is the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here in uh, the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, we got a special one lined up for you with an uh, awesome duo here in the studio. But first, please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. A lot of great wrestling podcasts over there about everything from indie wrestling to Lucha Underground, WWE, and all around. A lot of great shows we're doing there. And as well as IndieWrestling.us where you can find a lot of the people we have on these shows and the show in particular as well. Uh, please hit us up, good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com and 412-206-WMS0. That's where you can let us know your thoughts on shows that we've had, people we should interview, questions for people that we've announced coming up on the show. Uh, we do take a lot of that under advice, but that's how we interview people like Abor from Chikara. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and stuff like that. Like people, we, we don't get to watch all the wrestling. There's too much wrestling out there, and we're looking to you to uh, kind of discover a lot, a lot more than uh, we were able to check out here, even amongst our vast, vast mayhem audience, mayhem uh, 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 nation out there. So, with us, uh, two returns to the show. We wanted to get them together as, as, as the couple that they are, uh, because there's been a lot of really cool developments going on. It is, uh, it is uh, the savage gentleman, of course, Victor Benjamin, in the flesh, and uh, also some may resent. Me- have an uncanny uh, resemblance to a Shane Inya face that mm. was on this show. Never heard of him. Uncanny. Uncanny. M- must be the beard. Beard. <laughs> you know, so she was on more recently, but we wanted to bring her back on with her other half. Lady Frost is back with us, keeping it chill. Am I in line with the puns now, at least? <laughs> nope, no, no, no. So punny, so, no, so no, punny. That no. was snow terrible. Oh, <laughs> Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, though, yeah, 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 we won't do the icebreakers and stuff. These guys have already been on. You can check it out in the feed. I'm, I say it every week too. You can't use my finisher. That's my finisher. You might get a frostbite. <laughs> That's my starter. <laughs> But uh, you guys, uh, like I said, we just, we just had you on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Of course, you got big things going on, including being uh, part of Blackcraft Wrestling uh, this coming weekend, um, as of this recording, of course. And uh, you guys just uh, came from a big trip uh, as well. But I wanted to go back to a little bit. I know we talked a little bit uh, with you, Lady Frost, about kind of the... You guys have been evolving a little, of course, Victor, you know, mm-hmm. coming from the Shane in your face presentation to now the Savage Gentleman, Victor Benjamin. Which means you're one of those people that I, when I say, say hi to you, I don't know which name to call you anymore, <laughs> <laughs> which happens to me in Indie Wrestling. But still, I love that that like this is kind of forming together with you. Can you guys talk about uh, um, and probably recap a little bit from our conversation, a little bit of kind of you know from this Shane guy to kind of what we're seeing with you guys right now? Well, it started out, uh, you know, ex MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. Wrestled as an seems, MMA fighter. Seems pretty popular these days, as we were talking about SummerSlam. It, it, it is, and that's exactly the reason I had to get away from it. Mm-hmm. I don't have a UFC pedigree, and I got a super hot wife that <laughs> happened Hi. to be my valet. This Lady Frost. Hi, hello. Except I'm super cold. So cold. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> but... What we had to do was reinvent ourselves, which is wrestling. Mm-hmm. He was Shane before Lady Frost, and when the two of us came together, we kind of, um, you know, formed a new bond and a new relationship, and that turned into a new wrestling relationship and who we were as a couple. And we went back to kind of the foundation of um, our beliefs, and we're traditional, classic, timeless um conservative actually even though we're a little wild savage maybe vintage <laughs> vintage, vintage. Return, yeah so never goes out of style you have the classic lady and gentleman um and it seems to really transcend real life into wrestling and it's not really too far off from how we like to live you know 
I like to dress nice. <laughs> she likes to dress nice. Definitely competing. I like to punch people in the face too. <laughs> I'm a savage gentleman by nature. Definitely competing for our best dressed uh, Mayhemi uh, here today. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I'm in there. You are always. <laughs> uh and so so you know from that you know we, we we talked about a little bit of that before and and it was interesting to see uh, now shane i've been able to watch you since i think your first match with iwc of course and seeing that kind of persona change and kind of finding yourself right um and i know most recently i've been able to see you at of all things the gathering of the juggalos and seeing like the more I, I i have commented to people i think that's the most fire i've seen out of you and of course, not seeing you in a lot of these travels that you've been making lately. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you talk a little bit to what that development has been? And then, then the kind of background that match I know was you're wrestling a nerd. A nerd. <laughs> What's the idea? A nerd. A nerd. And and uh, nerd. You were <laughs> you're really kind of presented and, and came off as a little bit of a bully in that situation. And uh, but it was it was really it was a it was a really good showing. I think. Well, I appreciate that. We have been a tra- uh, traveling a lot, mm-hmm. which has helped the evolution of our characters, going out and getting different places, but most importantly, getting training from different people, mm-hmm. listening to people that have paved the path before us. There's no way you can fail when you, you, know, you go back and you redo exactly what the people have done before you, but make it your own. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and we were having a little bit of a conversation about the Diamond Wrestling Ma'am show about like you kind of looking at the old school, looking at the new school, and kind of mixing it together, right? Right. So, um, what are you guys are kind of looking at, kind of along with that? What are kind of your past inspirations that you look back to that you're maybe glomming a little bits here and there from? Lady? Uh, so, I don't have a whole lot of past references when I was younger. Mm -hmm. which is really actually cool now because I get to fall in love almost for the first time and be excited for the first time. And, um, you know, I like to say this a lot just because I didn't love wrestling since I was four years old doesn't make me love it any less. Mm -hmm. I didn't love my husband since I was four years old either, but that doesn't make me love him any less. Um, And it's now like finding out who to study and also – people that I wouldn't necessarily think that I would be attracted to um, that I'm learning from or that I'm affected by. And that's really what it's about. I think is that emotional connection that you have, whether it's that hatred or, you know, that inspiration or I want to be like this person. I definitely don't want to be like this person. It makes you feel a certain way. Um, And learning all of those things for the first time is actually, hi, hello. (laughs) (laughs) Busted. Out of breaking the super serious moment. <laughs> Sorry, um, take a quick Instagram. <laughs> no, but I think gaining inspiration has to stay fresh too. So if you're always watching the same person from the same era mm. forever for your whole life, you're not really going to gain new inspiration, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. What's old is new. What's new is old. It's always going to repeat itself. It's fashion. It's sports. Mm. It's history. So at what point, um, what was the kind of uh, kicker for you guys to say, we need to get on the road more, right? Because I, I, I see this, you know, wrestlers at different points where, you know, some are like two years in and don't really get too far out, I think, of the... of the uh, Tri-state com- region? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of like a comfort circle of some sort, yep. right? You know, and this isn't, a, this isn't a bash on anybody out there uh, directly, but, you know, but but I think like Do the best thing is to get the out the drives, there. people... <laughs> Driving doesn't mean two hours where you have the same fans in mm-hmm. a different The state, same matches, the same opponents, the same yeah. faces, the same locker room. That's you know. one thing I think that started for us. You know, we, we went to a few seminars and just the knowledge that we received in three days was monumental. Mm-hmm. Granted, we had, a, we had a panel of a who's who. Right. Between so. Danny Cage, Ricky Reyes, Les Thatcher, Rudy Gonzalez. Jeez. Sugar Bruce, Shane Helms. Yep. Bruce wow. Pritchard. I mean, it was amazing. And then that set up contacts in different areas. Mm-hmm. And honestly, everything is different in different places. So if you're only in three or four states all of the time, that's all you're really going to know. And you can only be, you know, the big fish in the little pond for so long. Mm-hmm. And not even that you know, we think we're big fish, but I think there's so much to, to know and learn and experience elsewhere. And, you know, 
if you want to make it to the top. And for us, that's WWE. Um, we have to surround ourselves with people that are connected or that, you know, can help us get there easier, faster, better, whatever the word is. Um, and we have to go all in to do that. And that's not staying in Pittsburgh every single weekend. Did you say all in? I <laughs> did. We yeah. have to be 100% invested. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be 100% invested. If anybody's watching this like after the fact later down the line, You're it's right. kind of the thing this day, these days on social media. Yeah. yeah. You can't really mention that. That phrase yeah, in, in the wrestling world. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Ask Flip Gordon. <laughs> right. You see WWE guys dropping that phrase on Twitter by by chance and, that, and it just right. like starts. News. Mm. And don't get us wrong. We don't have contracts anywhere and there are other great places to work. Yeah. Um, for us, I think the top and our goal right now is WWE. That doesn't mean that we wouldn't accept any other offer or job or career. But, mm. but let's be honest. Every great talent wants to be in the WWE. Or they started wrestling because they watched someone there because these other companies didn't exist. Like that was the hub for you to get that entertainment and inspiration. So, I mean, really, you got to think WWE, regardless, worldwide is the, you know, if you're an actor, you want to get the Hollywood or get the Hollywood, right? Okay, correct. Like, yeah. I, so I, I don't think that's a demeaning thing to anybody else on the path there or in between or anything like that. Absolutely not. <laughs> Getting a little right. bit of ice yeah. on the microphone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, from Lady Frost. <laughs> Chilling. Yes. Um, but uh, in in something that you guys are talking about, you know, and getting out there and, and, and making the drives and getting in front of different people, um, kind of for me, kind of kind of relates to things that I've read and trying to, you know, build business and stuff of like creating opportunities as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And that Absolutely. seems to be what you guys are doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, the more you, more you travel, the more people you're going to meet. It's, it's almost infectious. You know, as long as you're a good person in life, people are going to like you. You might not be the best wrestler. You might not be the most sound, but if you're giving it all, you're all, and you're investing in yourself, others are going to invest in you also. It's a snowball effect. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Check, please. No. <laughs> no, seriously, though, because the more people that you meet in different areas, that's just, you know, you are spreading that awareness about yourself. And then when you need something or want something or it's just – those connections are everywhere then instead of just, you know, your three states that you stay in. Just think, if I knew every single person in Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio, I don't know anyone. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows me. Mm -hmm. what, what does that do? You know, as a wrestling fan, as a promoter, as wrestlers, what do you want to do? You want to entertain everybody. You can't reach everyone by keeping yourself local. Mm -hmm. You have to go out and you have to broaden your horizons. You have to make a leap. You have to take some chances. And you have to bet it all on yourself. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of which, uh, you guys, of course, we, we touched on this a little bit on Wrestling Mayhem show um, this week. But um, tell us about this this road trip, this incredible cross-country road trip oh you guys my. made between Texas and, and Florida and West Virginia. So wait, I'm going to preface this, which we were supposed to drive to Texas mm -hmm. and fly to Florida. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we ended up flying, flying to, to Texas, Texas and driving, driving to, to Florida. Florida. And this was all last-minute decisions. It just kind of worked out that way. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a West Virginia booking right in the middle of the two trips. Mm -hmm. So we had to come home. And then because the West Virginia trip was four hours south. south, we just decided to continue right on driving into Florida. So we knew that we, we were We literally have to kept on trucking. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. But we had, um, you know, a few different stops in Florida. So we knew we needed a vehicle. We were going to rent a car, but we said, let's just use ours. Uh, we visited a few um, accredited training centers, WWN and... Um, WXW Wild Samoan the Wild Samoan Training Center nice. and they were they were awesome they were very different um, different people different atmosphere different vibes uh, fundamentally like wrestling was was great either training center would be extremely beneficial we're trying to weigh out our options still on a couple other schools and um, Texas we absolutely love Rudy is awesome 
Rudy Gonzalez, if you um, didn't know who we were talking about, but... I think I believe we're t- referred to as Rudy Boy. Rudy Boy. I, I saw, I saw yeah. Rudy Boy from the Texas Wrestling Academy. Yeah. Uh, Shawn Michaels old school. Okay. Yeah. So he was Shawn Michaels head trainer. And, you know, Shawn Michaels is now in NXT. So Rudy Boy has his own school. The best training, hands down, that we've ever received. Ever. There's so much that we didn't know that we learned in one day. Mm-hmm. We're like, why have we never seen this or heard this? And but some, again, some things might be so minute mm-hmm. that. You just overlook and overlook and overlook because you've done things your way for so long, but someone opens your eyes. Yeah, I've noticed that too because there's been like some. I've seen some WWE documentaries and they mentioned their trainers, but then they like t- talked about they retrained and everything, and that mm-hmm. that doesn't get talked about. Everybody thinks you go to wrestling school and then you hit the you hit the road, right? Yeah, and no, <laughs> that's that doesn't seem to be the way. So I'm brand new, and Victor has over two years, three and mm-hmm. a half years, if you count training of experience, and we're still trying to go and and better ourselves and learn more. Like I'm I'm from scratch, but he's in the same place where you know one form of training at one point of time was not enough, mm-hmm. and if you want to be the best, you do not stop. That's in any. Think sport. about this. Did the Philadelphia Eagles skip practice the week of the Super Bowl? No, because yeah. they were still training. They were still training. They were training after the Super Bowl mm. because they want to be the best. It's it's Why how you the do the Eagles life. though. Really, Philly? <laughs> it's relative. Ugh. Carson Wentz. <laughs> you couldn't say Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. I know. Oh, you can't gonna, say. I'm gonna get all the. Oh. You cannot say Tom Brady in Pittsburgh. I can. I can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm glad you're on the other Real end life. of the couch. Wow. Real life. Stay over there, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you might melt. I'm a little hot. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway. Um. I, I forgot my other question after that. Tom Brady threw me off. I'm sorry. That's, I apologize. That's all right. <laughs> um, from that, uh, tell me a little bit. You guys are, again, we, we kind of gave a little plug to you guys at the end of the Wrestling Mayhem show, but it was uh, kind of cool to see you guys. And I've seen this a couple of ways, and I think you guys are, are applying some really good ideas to this. Um, you guys started a Patreon. We did. Uh, kind of a brand new thing. And I give a disclaimer, I did put the first bucket dollar in the bucket on that one uh on behalf of wrestling mayhem show <laughs> because we Thank support you, our, we, mayhem we support our friends as much as we can here uh but uh it, it's it's more than the merch table at that point right yes it is it's exclusives it's stuff that you just might not normally get things we don't put out on our social media mm-hmm. things that you wouldn't be able to buy off our tables mm-hmm. you first get, rights to things too so if you we... get to you literally get to call dibs on these things <laughs> mm-hmm. dibs i like being first you know <laughs> every time she posts a picture if i'm not first i'm a little sad it eats him up inside but when i do i like to comment dibs <laughs> so you need to you need to give to your own patreon to make sure you're in absolutely that's right yeah i'm in it to win it i'm investing in myself sort (laughs) but if you're also not a wrestling fan like we have friends and family that they they can't keep up or they're not really interested Mm -hmm. in wrestling and they still contribute because they know it's our passion and they know it costs money and you know we're doing this kind of on the side and it's very expensive Mm. but we'd like to do it full time so they're like hey let me donate and just you know give a couple bucks to help for the cause that's so, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, because any, any wrestling is is like the starving artist kind of situation, right? It, it, I just it, it, saw it, that comparison really? uh, last week, actually. I, I can't remember it. who. Was it I you? I said it. If it might have been her. I mean, Some I'm, smart person said it. Listen, I'm with her every day. It all blends together. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I did say that. And when we're on the road and living out of a suitcase for weeks at a time and mm-hmm. We just discovered, well, we we sort of knew, we have um, in our truck the seats lift up and we have a cooler under the seats, which is Ooh. phenomenal. And we have coolers in, in our truck. Yep, in the seats. So Built it makes coolers. road tripping a little easier because mm-hmm. we'll just throw the monsters in there, the iced coffee in there, and the food. Hashtag meal prep. <laughs> right. <laughs> Healthy which, life. Which is a big deal for fitness, of course. It is. We cannot, we do not eat fast food. And mm. when we do, we're highly disappointed because we're like, we haven't eaten this <laughs> Such in years. Such a letdown. It is. It's disgusting. <laughs> it doesn't look like the pictures at all. No. No. It, it doesn't oh. taste like the pictures. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. 
<laughs> awesome. Um, so generally, what's coming up for you guys? As we mentioned, like, as of this recording, you got Black Craft Wrestling. Like, interesting opportunities like that. I know you guys are all over the place. So, like, yeah. Where normally, other than follow you guys on social media and find out where you'll end up, do you, can people uh, see you around? We don't have a normal anymore. We, uh, <laughs> our we'll most in... normal is Nova Pro yeah, in, in Virginia. Virginia. Really? That's our most frequent stop right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just debuted at Revenge at their inaugural show. That's up in Erie, PA. In Erie. Erie. Mm-hmm. We have PWX in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. That Security will be it. debuting for Pure this Saturday. Yep, this Saturday. Nice. We have MCW Ohio, Midwest Championship Wrestling. Uh, we'll be returning there in September. We have what else is coming up? Black Craft. Black of course, Black Craft. Black Craft. And that one will be on a pay per view. If you, even if you're catching this after the fact, um, so that will you guys can uh, check that out as well. And I think there's going to be a lot of interesting on that show. From there will be some things. live streaming at BlackCraftWrestling.com. Mm-hmm. Everyone can do it. I think it's only like ten bucks. Yeah, yeah it's ten dollars. So, and How do you not do that? You get a rock show with it also. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, and the last thing, I don't know if this was a deal early on, but I think pre-ordering the pay-per-view, you get like a $10 credit in their store. Yeah, so, so. You, you get, you buy the uh, pay-per-view and you get free t-shirts. Yeah. Like how yeah. does, there's everyone some, wins. There's some cool wrestling t-shirts on there too. There are. So. I, Different flavors of ice cream. Exactly. Different flavors of ice this cream. This one happens to be black. <laughs> it's all black. There's a black carpet event actually coming up this Thursday that mm-hmm. we'll be attending. I'm more of on the white side, you know. Snow, 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 no. snow, <laughs> heavenly fallen snow angel. Right, I like to say on the white side. I've had to wrestle these dark characters, and it's just I'm a little over it right now. Absolutely. All right, oh where can my. people <laughs> where can people that. find you online? No, I'm letting you go with it. <laughs> 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 where can people find you online to find out more and uh and, and please tell people where that Patreon is. Patreon.com slash pretty proper. That's our tag name. And I am real lady frost across the board, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I am at Real Savage Gent on Twitter, Real Savage Gentleman on Facebook and Instagram. And again, we share the patreon.com slash pretty proper. That is our inter intergender tag team official title. Pretty the official because we're both title. It fits, doesn't it? Absolutely. And we I got to see the tag team in action, of course, part of uh Stomp Out Cancer Two. Yep. yep. Which we have over on indie wrestling.us. Uh mm-hmm. proceeds go to uh, American Cancer Society. So it was cool to see that. That was a lot. That was a lot of fun. It was a blast. It's always fun to give back, you know, especially to a cause that her and I are all too familiar with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? I think we raised about forty two hundred dollars. Was the total nice? Maybe more. Nice, yeah. nice. So um, thanks a lot, guys. And of course, you can find them also at IndieWrestling US in general, uh, especially with Rise Wrestling recently with Lady Frost. Uh, yeah. your, your first couple of matches, we'll point out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a lot of fun there. Uh, it's been cool to see uh, both of you guys grow over the last couple of years here into something and, and seeing you guys out there and making some noise Thank and, you. and seeing a response like, from the chat room this, uh, this after this evening, uh, for wrestling man show and, uh, everything like that. Thank you so much for being a part of the show guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks. <laughs> uh, and again, uh, like I said, check everything out there. Indie wrestling. Us wrestling mayhem show.com, uh, support, support this show so we can keep bringing you guys more, uh, conversations like this and the wrestling mayhem show and the other recaps that we do across the network. And until next time, please support indie wrestling. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.